Aunt Sarah is um, the aunt of Darling. She is opinionated. She is a smidge passive aggressive. She likes things her way. And anything that uh, happens that is not to her liking, you will see an eyebrow raise or a disapproving look. Um, so of course, everything Lady does drives her up a wall and she's very displeased uh, for most of the movie. The only people that make Aunt Sarah smile are uh, Darling and Little Lulu. She doesn't care for Jim. She doesn't care for Lady. Um, she doesn't care for the pet store owner. She doesn't care for, She doesn't care about anybody else but Darling and the baby. So she's a very interesting person to play. I think what makes Lady and the Tramp so beloved um, is the story of acceptance, the story of everyone has a home, everyone has a place. And even if you don't know where you belong, that place will ultimately find you. I think that's a beautiful idea um, that's really good right now in, in the times that we're living in. I think that um, any story that takes a misfit or an outcast and uh, shows their heart and shows that they're courageous or a fighter um, and then helps and we take the journey as they find their way to where they're supposed to be. I think that that's something that every single person can like, oh yes! And I think that's what Lady and the Tramp brings. It brings like this, this outcast that finds his home. How, it's just beautiful. One of the best parts of doing Lady and the Tramp uh, with Charlie, our director, and Brig, our wonderful producer, they're very collaborative. So uh, Thomas Kiersey and I did a full week of rehearsals before we even got into character, just to make sure that we knew who each other were and how we all work together as a family unit. Um, there's a lot of improvisation. There's a lot of playfulness. Um, Charlie's really open to what we think uh, our character would do at any moment. And there's been a couple of times where we've said something or done something. He's like, ah, th yes, that's that, do that, put that in. There's a reason that dogs are used for therapy. There's something healing about just sitting and just petting a dog. Everyone knows that. And so to be on a set uh, where they're everywhere, you just feel peace. I do anyway. Um, and also because there's dogs on set, there's not a lot of yelling. You know what I mean? We, we don't do a lot of yelling on the set. There's not a lot of, hey, well, we need it. No, we, everybody's having regular conversations with each other because nobody wants to upset the, all the animals that are on set. That's really nice too. Um, it just, it's a good vibe. I think that every, I wish everywhere I go, I could have a dog with me. I really do. I think that um, they bring a peace that, that no other animal brings. And again, it goes back to the unconditional love. They're just, a, they're just little furry balls of love. <laughs>